This Pecha Kucha will be the culminating of what we have learned in EdTech 706, ICT assessment encapsulates the house and what's of making and implementing examinations through online learning platforms. Let us take a look at OB Digital Platform, the designated LMS of OB Montessori. Powered by Orange Apps, it provides a custom-made LMS that is reminiscent of early Facebook days. And because of the design, users can easily grasp the ins and outs of it. OB Digi is also integrated with the SIS, so this feature allows teachers to encode forms almost seamlessly. Aside from that, OB Digi includes virtual notebooks for different subject teachers, so the children will only need to click the icon and they can instantly see the announcements from other teachers, the notes, and the assigned assessments for the class. It also has its own calendar, which notifies everyone about the upcoming tasks, events, and other announcements. It also has a collaborator feature, which can allow teachers to call for backup help in case of technical difficulties. Here on the page, you can see what an assigned activity looks like. For the assigned activity, an assigned start and end time is prescribed, so the teachers can assign work early, but the children cannot answer yet, nor will they be able to see the items of the test. And if you can also look at the slides, okay, you can assign different activities and they will be automatically color-coded, so it's easier for children to find what you need them to look for when assessing. And on the teacher side, you can also check the analytics. So the analytics show us the score if someone did not take the activity, the time taken, and the number of times a student switches tabs while answering a test. So at the end of the test, the scores are immediately released, but the teacher will double check and readjust those with essay types tests. As for creating activities in the OBDG, students can be assessed through various types of questions, including true or false, multiple choice, fill in the blanks, and essay. For every question, the teacher can attach a photo if necessary. Furthermore, each question can be assigned with different point values so that teachers can adjust based on difficulty. Another, the activity statistics helps teachers to conduct item analysis efficiently. It shows the distribution of answers in each question. Such data can be used to compute for the difficulty index and discrimination index of each item. In this regard, teachers can assess and improve the reliability of their activities. Let's take a look at the student's view when answering activities. The welcoming page shows details that students need to take note of about the activity. It displays a timer to help the student manage their time. It also has the auto-recover feature that saves students' progress when experiencing technical issues. Students can immediately view their score by the end of the activity. One distinct feature of OBDG is it allows students to generate a printable copy of their corrected activities. Students may compile those printed learning materials and use them as reviewers. Furthermore, it shows which items were answered incorrectly. Hence, students know which items should they give more focus on when studying. When it comes to the feedback of the, to the student, if it is a multiple type of test, there is an immediate feedback. However, if it is essays or fill in the blanks, it might take some time for the teacher to give a feedback. Now, when it comes to the technical issues that both students and teachers face, first is that the LMS is buggy after an update, second, loss of team post, third, lack answer after a refresh, and then the last one is that sometimes the test does not Save. And what to do if there is a power interruption and less of internet connection? So if this happened during the exam, the answer of the students would be automatically saved and if the power comes back right away, they could be able to continue the exam. But if not, they would have a makeup class. Same for those of students who encounter or have a power interruption and loss of internet connection before the exam. Note, all examinations are done online. Offline examinations are considered zero. Now, when it comes to the mental health, um, online distance learning could be damaging to the mental health of both students and teachers as there are a lot of things and notifications and tasks that need to be done that could lead to anxieties and different mental health issues. Another technical issue that was observed in OB Digital Platform is its need of third-party software such as Google Workspace apps to assess students' performance. It is limited in making assessment because it does not allow upload the photo option for questions and videos for performance tasks that needs to be uploaded to Google Drive for submission of online link in the OBDP. 
Parents and student feedback on OBE Digital Platform. Advantages, it's easy to use, navigate, and see reminders. Activities are downloadable. Parents can see child's course and contact information and announcement are posted. Disadvantages, it notifies too much, too many announcements in a day. Non-notification of missed work and two calendars are confusing. Teachers' feedback on OBE Digital Platform. Advantages, easy to access, color coding for assessments, analytics feature, and all activities can be downloaded. Disadvantages, limited when making assessments, formatting issues, no other forms of communication, limited storage capacity, and system glitch. In today's learner-centered instructional environment, educators provide evidence of learning such as the use of ICD and assessment that involves the use of digital devices on student tasks and a multitude of online formats to develop capabilities and skills of students. We are quickly approaching the stage where our imagination will be the limiting factor in designing our e-assessment tasks. Some of the best ICT principles and best practices are the following. Number one, having solid legal framework. Number two, systematic implementation program. Number three, secured budget and support. Number four, timely capacity building. And lastly, effective monitoring and evaluation system. For the reflection and recommendation, while the digital platform is very user-friendly, it's also mobile-enabled and very accessible. For the recommendation, it's recommended that there should be a hardware configuration to ensure the stability of the system when multiple users are accessing the elements and to resolve the issue of crashes when using mobile phones to be able to provide a better experience. In summary, we can say that every LMS or learning management system has its own advantages and limitations. In our example LMS, the OB Digital Platform, we can conclude that the benefits and advantages far outweighs the limitations. Therefore, we highly recommend the use of LMS to efficiently deliver the courses with minimal disruption.